Alright, so in this video, I'm going to be solving a quick problem which involves converting, um, calculating molecular formula after finding out empirical formula. So, 3.1 grams of phosphorus burns in air to produce 7.1 grams of phosphorus oxide, which has a molar mass of 284 grams per mole. Calculate the empirical formula of phosphorus oxide and then its molecular formula. So, Right here, I've been given the mass of phosphorus and the mass of phosphorus oxide, but I haven't been given the mass of oxygen. And since it's phosphorus oxide, I'm going to assume the formula is, um, the general formula would be something along the lines of PXOX, not um, these two X's representing um, unknown variables. Now, I don't know the mass of oxygen, but I can work it out by subtracting the mass of phosphorus from the mass of phosphorus oxide since it says it burns in air and and the thing that phosphorus would react with when it's burning is oxygen so 7.1 minus 3.1 would give me 4 so therefore since these two are the masses that, that we know this is the mass of oxygen and Given this being the formula, I'm going to use this sort of as a sort of um, layout, layout. So P and O will be here. And so what's the mass of P in phosphorus oxide? The mass of P in phosphorus oxide. The mass would be seven, no, 3.1. And the mass of oxygen in this would be um, 4. <coughs> So about 3 grams and 4 grams. And now we um, we can use the periodic table to work out the molar masses. So the molar masses, big M, big M, would be, um, for phosphorus it would be 31. And for oxygen it would be 16. And using the formula number of moles equals mass divided by molar mass, we can work out the number of moles for each of these. So the n, let me, let me number of moles n. Uh, be for this it would be three point one divided by thirty one, which would be zero point one, zero point one. And for this it would be four divided by sixteen, which you know that's basically a quarter. So it's 0 0.25 and so now we have the the molar ratios so the molar ratio between phosphorus and oxygen is 0 0.1 to 0 0.25 and since these are not whole number ratios we can't assign these as empirical formula um, um, subscript values we need to make uh, basically multiply these up to um, being whole number values. So the first thing I'm going to do is divide both of these values by the smallest number. And the smallest number here is 0 0.1. So divide both of them by 0 0.1. Divide by 0 0.1. Divide by 0 0.1. And this gives us the ratio of 1 to 2.5. And it's still not a whole number. So what we need to do is divide it again by this by the well this time I don't think we would want to divide it by the smallest number since it's 1 and that would get us nowhere so what I want to do one what I would want to do now is I can see if I double this this will produce 5 and this would produce 2 and this would be um, a simple whole number ratio with like no no common mo no common factors except for 1 so um, multiply times 2, 2 2 times 2 and this gives us a ratio of 2 to 5 and now, since this is a simple, simplest whole number ratio, we can say that the molecular, I mean the empirical formula of this molecule is going to be P2O5. And we don't know the molecular formula yet, but this would be the empirical formula. And as I said in a previous video, we can work, we can get the molecular formula from the empirical formula by dividing the molar mass of the actual molecule by the molar mass of the empirical formula which we've calculated and so to find out the empirical formula of this I'm using my periodic table I can 
find the first the molar mass of phosphorus, which is going to be, let's see, yeah, it's 31. 31 times 2, and then for oxygen, it's going to be um, 5 times 16. 16, which I got from the periodic table. I mean, uh, the data I've got here. And this would give me... A hun this would give me 142 142 right and the number I've got there um, as the the molar mass is 284 284 grams per mole so this this here is the the molar mass of the molecule and this here is the molar mass of the empirical formula and so what we need to do as I said in the last video is divide the, the, the molar mass of the molecule by the molar mass of the empirical formula to find the, the factor which we need to scale this formula up to so 284 divided by 142 is going to be 2 since this is double this so therefore we found that our factor is 2 and all we need to do now is multiply our two subscripts here by 2 and that would scale it up to be the molecular formula. So therefore the molecular formula of this particular molecule is going to be P 4 O 10 and that's basically all you need to do to work out the molecular formula of a molecule given its empirical formula or after working out its empirical formula. There you go.